Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Quick little review video. So you guys know a while back I bought a sword for 20 bucks over at Value Village. And I thought, hey, this would be great, you know, for when I get my cast off. And apparently that ain't going to work out for me. So I did get size, which will. But in the meantime, this is a dragon head katana and it deserved a paint job. So yesterday, of course, um, I spent the better part of a few hours uh, repainting the handle because I had to do a repair on it. So I got that done a while back. And uh, so time to paint it. And I did the entire thing myself, except for the buildings here. Uh, they're in brown. My wife actually did those for me. Uh, but I did all the rest of it. And uh, we even used dollar store brushes. And uh, we bought a pack of these things for, uh, it was a couple of bucks anyway, for a whole whack load of them. So you got different angles and sizes. And, you know, for dollar store brushes, they're actually pretty decent. But the review is about the paint, okay? Uh, the paint is acrylic, and I do have acrylic clear coat here, uh, which will work on acrylic paints and several others, including its own brand of Krylon spray bomb stuff. So I um, figured, okay, well, acrylic paint, um, yeah, that's going to work with my clear coat and should be fine. So one of the things I did notice about this paint is that in some spots when you squeeze it out of the tube, it's got like some liquid in it. Um, so you might want to make sure that you stir up your paint really good after you dab it onto whatever you're, you know, squeezing it out onto. Um, I used little pieces of foam just to keep colors organized. And I had to mix a couple of colors because I wanted to do a, a custom color uh, on his chest. And uh, so I managed to pull that off, which is kind of cool. You need some offset, you know, too much black is a bad thing, right? Um, too much of any one color can actually be a bad thing. Um, so anyways, um, as far as the paints themselves go, I think they're actually pretty good depending on what you're using them for. However, the dry time, that's another story. I did discover I've got a couple of little spots here uh, where some kind of color has run into my white a little bit, um, which really doesn't bother me. Um, I wasn't going after like absolute perfection, otherwise I would not have bought in dollar store paint. I would have bought in some really good stuff. Um, but I also got to think of, I only paid $20 for the sword if I get a really good looking paint job, which in the end I did. And this kind of, even with whatever this color is that ran into my white, it kind of almost gives it a bit of a um, weathered look or because um, I was going for the white as being like, you know, clouds type of thing. Um, I didn't want to do a blue sky kind of thing. I kind of figured, well, white would be kind of good and nice little offset. But otherwise, that does kind of bother me a little bit, but not all that much. And it's the only one that had any problem. Uh, so I guess I can't complain too much. But anyways... Uh, as far as dry time goes, what I've learned from this, even with clear coating it, um, and it takes several coats, very light coats, you know, because you don't want to swamp it, right? Because that would be like running all over the place. Um, but I think the dry time you should allow before you put any kind of clear of anything on whatever it is you've painted, um, I think you should wait probably somewhere about four days to be safe. Um, the paint goes on rather thick. Um, you can't put it on too thin, otherwise you're going to be going coat after coat after coat, and the dry time, even with light coats, is going to take quite a while with this stuff, right? Because uh, it's not like it has any acetone in it to help cure it quicker. It's just pure out raw acrylic paint. Um, so that means a lot longer dry time is something I've learned from this, okay? I've never used acrylic paint in tubes like this ever in my life. I've used testers, modeler paint, used to paint D&D &D figures when I was a kid with my father because we used to play Dungeons and Dragons and we had like literally thousands of these things, right? So you'd spray bomb them all with gray primer first and then you bought really high-end quality brushes and of course the testers, modeler paint and we would sit together for hours and hours and hours just painting these lead figurines. So that I have a a lot of experience with and that stuff is fantastic um, this stuff it's more I think for doing like painting with like uh, on a canvas uh, but you can use it for multiple projects obviously I pulled it off here 
um, I think actually really well. Let me see if I can, hopefully the autofocus doesn't mess with this too much. Um, but just to give you an idea, I mean, even the brushes did really good at getting into some areas. Um, I was going to go for like a white sphere because I have no idea what he's holding. Um, it, it's a white ball of some sort. So I kind of uh, did a yellow thing and I thought, wait a minute, I got to offset his ears from his, his head and arms, right? So I painted some other uh, color over top of that and it kind of blended and it worked out actually pretty good, I think. Besides, we are looking at an antique vintage look. Um, it's kind of what I was going for, something very um, ancient, right? Um, but yeah, pearl white would have been nice, but um, I had the white down here and that just wouldn't go with my theme. So this actually went a lot better. Gave him a black nose, yellow ears. But anyway, so as far as the paints go though, uh, I think they're what, three bucks or something like that? Four bucks for the whole kit. Um, this is actually the package here. Um, they call them Artist Series uh, Acrylic Paints. Professional quality. Well, I would say a yes and a no to that. <laughs> um, they're definitely not high, high end. But they will work for you really well. Like I said, depending on what you're painting surface-wise and how you're going to finish it. Okay? Because you're not going to get a gloss black. Okay? You're not going to get gloss green. These are basically like a more of a matte or flattish type of finish so if you want something to pop you're going to need some clear coat um, and um, there's only certain types of clear coat you can use with acrylic paints so make sure you search that out on the internet first however like I said I use the Krylon stuff so if you want to do a spray bomb type of deal you buy this okay this is Krylon non-yellowing clear Okay, I've even used this stuff on cars, including the paint itself, too. Actually works quite well, uh, surprisingly enough. But um, that's the clear coat that will definitely work with this, okay? Um, so, uh, anyways, but there's others, too. But that's pretty much where I'm at for that. So, as far as the price goes, I mean, it's the dollar store, right? But $4 store product. Um, like I said, you're going to see a little bit of maybe liquid squeeze out of the tube. Um, not sure what it is, but part of the paint mixture, I guess. So make sure you stir up the, the, the wetness into the paint. Um, the brushes themselves, I think they're really good if you're not doing anything very high precision. Um, but uh, so you can kind of take this as a two in one, but we're really, we care more about the paints on this review. But I think as far as the paints go, I would definitely give them a solid four out of five. Um, and I would definitely recommend them uh, for your projects. Uh, depending on what that project is, you know, and I can't tell you yes It's suitable for that or no, it's really not that's kind of up to you to decide. Okay. Um, I Did it for this and overall I am very pleased with the results with the exception of whatever decided to run into my white and that happened when I was doing the clear so there was obviously something that wasn't quite a hundred percent cured which is why I said four days is probably the best to let this kind of paint cure now, normally you wouldn't do that in the real world when you're using acrylic spray bombs. Um, you have flash times. This is not that. There's no acetone. You don't have flash times. Um, so you're going to have to let it dry, obviously, a lot longer. But that was the only boo-boo, so that's pretty good uh, considering everything. So anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.